let's learn what is hub, switch, and router, how they function, and the differences between them. All of these devices are similar, but there is a difference in the way they handle and how they forward network traffic to the connected devices. What is a hub? A hub is a simple and cheap networking device that can connect computers to each other. It is considered less intelligent because it does not filter data and does not know where the data is to be sent. A hub doesn't know anything about packets and doesn't bother figuring out who was supposed to receive the data. How it works When a hub receives a data packet, in Ethernet frame, from a network device at one of its ports, it broadcasts or repeats the packet to all of its ports, i.e. to all other network devices. A collision occurs when two network devices on the same network try to send packets at the same time. All information sent to a hub is automatically sent to all ports of the devices connected to it. This leads to wastage of bandwidth. Where does hub belong in the OSI model? A hub is located in the physical layer of the OSI model, i.e. the first layer. Advantages of using hubs They have the ability to connect to the network using different physical media. Hubs are relatively cheap compared to switches and other devices in the network. Disadvantages of using a hub Hubs share data to all the devices in a network, thus making the network insecure. Since hubs don't filter the data shared at all devices, they waste lots of bandwidth when transmitting data. What is a switch? Switch connects devices within a network, often in a local area network or LAN, and forwards data packets to and from those devices. Unlike a router, a switch only sends data to the single device it is intended for. A switch is a multicast networking device that works under the data link layer of the OSI model. A switch can easily identify which device is connected to which port by using a MAC address, giving it the ability to deliver the message to a particular machine. How it works Learning. This is the process of collecting the MAC address of linked devices. Forwarding. This is the process of transferring network traffic from one device connected to one port of a network switch to another device connected to another port. MAC addresses are unique addresses that each network card in a switch has and can use to identify a computer. They're called MAC addresses. If computer A has a MAC address, then the switch will know that the computer with the MAC address can be reached on that particular interface. Where does switch belong in an OSI model? A switch is located on the OSI model's data link layer, i.e. the second layer. The link layer is specific to the medium over which the packet is traveling. The Ethernet and MAC address are part of this layer. Advantages of using a switch Switches increase the bandwidth in a network. Switches are secure since they deliver data to the specified node. Switches lower the chance of frame collision domains. Disadvantages of using switches Switches are more expensive compared to hubs and other devices used in a network. Potential problems may come up when broadcasting traffic. What is a router? Router connects two or more networks. A router is a networking device that operates under the network layer of the OSI model. It is a device that establishes a common link between networks to enable data flow between them. Routers are confused with network hubs, modems, or network switches. Routers can combine the functions of these components and connect with these devices to improve internet access or help create business networks. Where does a router belong in an OSI model? A router resides in the network link layer of the OSI model, i.e. the third layer. How routers work Its major purpose is to connect many types of networks. The router is connected to at least two networks and decides how to deliver each data packet depending on its current knowledge of the network status. If the packet is traveling to the LAN, the router bounces it back. The packet will be toured depending on the routing table if this is not the case. Advantages of routers It provides connections between different network architectures. With the aid of dynamic routing algorithms, it can choose the best path in the internetwork. Disadvantages of Routers 
Routers are slower because they need to analyze data. Routers are expensive compared to hubs and switches. They have low bandwidth because of their dynamic router communication.